We've been waiting. How did you know I'd come for you? We just knew. We just knew. The fourth episode of the Shitty X Files podcast. And this yeah. is how shitty it is. Okay, so there's huh. a couple things here. Remember last time we were like laying out which months we would be watching which episodes? We, I was counting out months, but we are each picking a set of episodes. So right. each season is going to take two months. Yeah, we went over this. Right, but I don't think we recorded that we went over this. I think we just texted it back and forth. Oh, I don't know. Did we? <laughs> I don't know. But uh, all I'm saying is that's how shitty this is. Sure, yeah, absolutely. You we know, can't even, I'm not uh, making any promises counter. that it's any good, is all I'm trying to say. I mean, it's in the title. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, here's the other shitty thing is, you remember how I was like, do you think you can get all of them watched by next time? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> that's fine. That was a lot. Yeah. I mean, that's totally fair. I think, um, uh, I think I'm only prepared to talk about Eve and Darkness Falls. That's, that's cool. Is that cool? Yeah. Um, I had some other notes about Deep Throat and Ice. Oh, please hit, hit me up. Most of them I covered. Um, yeah, Deep Throat. So I watched that with commentary um, with Chris Carter, which I had not seen before um, because I have Blu-rays. Um, and can I just say that the menu on those Blu-rays is garbage. It's just the least intuitive bullshit i've is ever it? tell me about it i've never seen the blue so, the like, dvds are bad the men are they i don't remember them no. um so it's like the menu opens and it's like episodes extras whatever and you click on episodes and then like and then like a thing pops up and it's like you have to scroll through the episodes and then instead of just, like, clicking the episodes you want, you have to scroll down, and your first option is not play fucking episodes, it's play <laughs> all. And then you scroll down to play episode. Okay. And it's like, what the fuck? Just let me click on it. Have, like, a, have a separate button for play all or something. Just Or just put it in, and you know you want to play it. Just start playing it. Put it in. You I know, mean, that's why? some VHS shit right there <laughs> isn't that what we want yeah we just want simplicity yeah fuck so once you finally got it to play how was the commentary like do you have to dig into another menu it was okay uh no no it no. was like it was like the third option play with commentary okay um i'm trying to see oh apparently i thought that the alien lights in this were the worst effects ever and uh, that is saying something because I thought Darkness Falls effects weren't that bad. Like, for they what were... they were, I didn't think they were that bad. Um, I think you're right. Like, uh, sorry, I just lost my train of thought. I don't know. Oh, I don't okay. remember what that... Oh, it was like the dancing alien lights in the field yeah. that Mulder saw. Yeah. I thought that looked terrible. Yeah. Um, oh, apparently David has a mismatched pupil. I don't know if you've ever noticed that. No, I did notice that. Where was that in the commentary? Well, yeah, apparently he had got into a basketball accident when he was younger, and uh, his pupil, like he would use like dilating drops to make his pupils match in the beginning, and then Weird. he just was like over it near the end. I've I had noticed it in the past, but I just like didn't think anything of it. Did you notice it in this episode? Well, this is when he was using the drop still, apparently. So, like, later on, like, season five and on, you probably won't, you'll, you can notice it if you really pay attention. Well, now I have to, yeah, now I have to really pay attention. Yeah. Um, apparently Scully's eyebrows were great in this episode, because I just wrote oh, Scully's yeah. eyebrows. Um, it, oh, apparently it had a million dollar budget for this one episode. Really? Which I think is pretty legit. And it was. So are we on Deep Throat? We're still on Deep Falls? Throat. We're still on Deep Throat. We're still on Deep Throat. Yeah. It yeah. was an eight day shot shoot as well. Maybe it was all for the eyebrows. Those eyebrows were killing it. And then I also wrote. Maybe peak, she had a couple of waxers. I also wrote Peak Molder Hair for Deep Throat as well. I feel like it's a big swoop from what I remember, right? It's a big. It like, had some nice air time. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have more to say about the hair and makeup about Skull 8 f- further on. But anyway, I think that's all. <laughs> the only other thing that... Um... Oh, he also said the mythology episodes became some of the most popular through the life of the series. According to him, I don't really agree with that. I feel like there's camps, right? Well, I just figure most people like remember like Monster of the Week shit. Yeah, that's what Keith remembers. I I only remember their relationship. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what that says about you. What like, does that say? I don't know. Like, there's like, really, you don't think about the Fluke Man or like any hardly of, ever. Really, really. Oh man, you find yourself thinking about the Fluke Man like just randomly. Uh, just because, like, it reminds me of uh, that time I first came up there and we smoked a roach joint and I got uncomfortably fucking high and uh, laying on your mom's couch and the fluke so man, sorry. the fluke man was on in the back and I think you were asleep and I was just like, oh god, this is too much. Oh my it's god, too much. <laughs> Did you turn it off? No, it just played. I was too fucking high to do anything like that. I didn't know. Operating other people's electronic equipment is always, like, a thing. You know what I mean? Because it's like, no, don't use that remote. You have to do... I don't know. Mm. I don't like fucking with it. Yeah. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Anyway. um, And then Ice, I didn't have a whole lot to add on to... Uh, Hold on, I do want to go back to Deep Throat for a oh, second. Oh, sure, sure. Because when I was reflecting on our conversation about Deep Throat, I realized we never really talked about what it reveals about the mythology. What did Chris Carter have to say about the mythology in the commentary? Do you remember? Mainly that it was all I wrote down was uh, that was it was the first non-alien. Wait, why did I say first non-alien episode? I must have written that down wrong. Um, I wrote that it was the first mythology app. I'm sure he said a lot more poignant shit that I just wasn't listening <laughs> to. Um, yeah. Well, you'll have to live stream that commentary with me sometime. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I can watch it. I want to know, like, I'm interested in Chris Carter's psyche, right? So yeah. tell me about his, how was he appearing in this commentary? Was he in a studio? Was he in his house? Like some, like, older retired guy reminiscing about the past. Just yeah, yeah, exactly like that. And he, like he's chilling. He had more to say, I feel like, about the people than about the story itself. Yeah, like his cast and crew. Yeah. Um. Let's see, ice, 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 ice. Because I want to give him a lot of credit for like really creative and unique ideas, like especially early in the nineties. Like, bringing forward conspiracy stuff. That's like, something else I wanted to say was, like, uh, yes, I will give him that. But also, like, not only him, but Glenn Morgan and James Wong, they wrote, like, half of this fucking season. I might yeah. be exaggerating that number, but they wrote a lot of episodes in that. And most of these episodes we picked are their episodes. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, but yeah, are you... Can we move on to ice? Um, Let's go. Not that I have a whole lot to to add on. Okay. All right. Oh, he also mentioned, he also mentioned in the commentary, we use actors over and over and over in the course of the show. And I wrote no shit. (laughs) He was saying that like it was brand new information. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you think he wanted to tell us that? I don't know. He seemed to have good things to say about, uh, you know, the actors in Vancouver and just all that. He seemed to really like shooting up there. Do yeah. you know, did they finish the series off in Vancouver or they, were they still in California? I thought they were still in California. Season 11 is shot in Vancouver. Okay, that makes sense. Is that what you're talking about? No, I mean like the later seasons with Doggett. Eight and nine. I'm yeah. pretty sure they're still in the U.S. That's what California. I thought because they had a lot of like desert episodes and shit that yeah. would have been shot, you yeah. know, in California. Um, I should send you the video. We wa- we watched this video about the X Files that I'd be curious to hear your thoughts on. That just went over. Sure, yeah. Some of the deeper shit. Um, I don't know if I had a whole lot 
else to say about Ice. It's other than what we already talked about. It's a really good episode. Um, yeah, I went back on YouTube and found clips of them undressing each other after we talked about it. Yeah, I saw that in the <laughs> in the thing. It's so weird. Why are there clips of it? People love people love them. Right. And I'm one of those people and I'm thankful that other people put those clips on the internet. Uh so yeah, I literally don't have anything else to say about ice. I think I pretty much went over everything else. Yeah. Uh, I had no further thoughts on ice. I last time I said that I would watch the thing, which it's based on, and I never ended up doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Um What have what have you been watching otherwise? Or have you just been like filling your time with X Files? Been watching It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and Oh yeah, uh, like a rewatch going back to the Yeah, thing. yeah. We've been rewatching How is it? I I really like it. Some of the earlier seasons have not aged well and they kinda really? acknowledge that. And uh yeah. Uh it's a good show. If you like that kind of humor. Um I have only seen individual episodes. My friend Andrew, who you met. I don't know if you remember him. Oh yeah, I remember Actually, Andrew. I met him coming like over later today. five or six times. Tell him yeah, I said hi. I will do. He always pulled up his favorite episodes of that show, and we would watch. I'm curious what his favorites are. Them. I'll ask him. Yeah, let me know. Yeah, let me send write that me. Down. Message me. I want to know what his favorites are and if mine coincide. Um, that and uh, the wire. I'm finishing off the wire with Jeremiah. Uh, the Wire. I have never watched that either. What do you like about The Wire? Oh, it's such a good show. Uh, it's just a great show. It's yeah. it's a drama. It's set in Baltimore in like the early two thousands. And it's, it's uh, a cop show, right? Like yeah, a crime show. It's yeah. it's a cop show, but it's also like you get the cop side and you get like the street side of things as well. If it is horrible to its women, I don't know if I'd be able to sit through the wire. But I'll give it, if you're saying it's good, it's I'll one of my favorite shot. shows. I don't think I'll it's. It. Uh, I don't Should think I it's overtly misogynistic. I just wish. Sorry, what would you say? Should I start from the beginning? Yeah, you okay. need to. Yeah, you can't watch it out of order. It's going to be okay. a lot in the beginning. It just kind of throws you into it, and it's like. I spend too much time in my own head, so I need to find find something to watch. I think. I spend a lot of time with TV, so yeah, I can give you some good, decent recommendations at least. Um, yeah, we'll start here. Yeah. Um, so we can go to the other episodes. Do you want to do so, Darkness Falls? I have less to say about Darkness Falls than I do about Eve. So tell me. Um, oh, so like uh, one thing I was thinking of is how do you think the green stuff would look now? How would the bugs or whatever, how would that look now? Uh, that's a good question. I have to say that I loved it, though, because I, s I don't know, do you see colors when you close your eyes or like throughout a day if you're meditating or anything? Do you see colors? Yeah. Yeah. So though the way that those green lights. Yeah. Are depicted, no, I get what you mean. Are really similar to those green lights that I see behind my eyeballs. I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's why I really like it because I'm like, oh wow, I'm seeing this thing that I think I only see in my head. I'm seeing it in the outside world. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how they would do them today, but I really liked how they did them. Yeah, that's one thing that I was thinking about is how they would, uh, if this was shot today, how it would look. And what what were you thinking about? I don't know. I really don't know. Um. It would probably be more three D in structure, obviously. Well, um, what they are, they're they're microscopic organisms, right? And they're living inside an ancient tree. Right. Right? They're bugs. They they did show a bunch of tree trunks. Yeah, um, they had cut into a tree and they were uh, the giant tree, that's what they were looking at, and they took a sample out of it and it, it had this they, one weird ring in it. Right. It was a, it was a ring, but now that I think about that set, they must have been on a logging um, operation. Oh yeah, they right? were. They oh yeah, that was yeah because they walked across a whole field that had been made recently because yeah. it was like yeah it had tree scraps all over. 
Um, I think the writers were making a comment on deforestation back then. I don't know. Because they kind of, they called those people like eco-terrorists and like, uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. They seem to like try to balance the line of, although they did, they killed both extremists on each side. They killed the guy that was like, yeah, fuck it, I'm going to do whatever. And then they killed the... Yeah. The other guy who was the eco terrorist. So, in this episode, I think they're trying to not take a political stance. The people seem to be informed about deforestation, though, so they did their research, which I liked. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Um, the emotions get high again in this episode, which I like. <sighs> yeah. Uh, do you recognize the forest ranger? No. Do you? Yes, I did. Who is that? It is i don't know if you remember him but on californication um his name was richard bates and he was i don't know if he got married to her but or he just was like dating um hanks what what's her face i don't remember her name on the show but his baby mama i don't remember he I'll was like an Google actor or uh something but yeah i okay. recognize his face Cool. Um, yeah, he's a great actor in this. Um, they get some really good people for yeah. these this this first season. Like, yeah, I think um, all the performances are really good in this one because you ha they have to express the range of emotions, right? Yeah, like the the guy who's passionate about the forest and now their plight conveys that. Like I I'm in, I buy it. But yeah, they had some great actors in that first season. Yeah. Do you know who wrote this one? I don't know. I don't remember. I should have noted which ones were which. I can Google it. Nah, I got it. You got it? Unless you want I love to. the sound of your keyboard. Yeah, he has that uh, mechanical keyboard. Um, what are we talking about? Darkness Falls? We want to know who wrote Darkness Falls. Right, I should have done this differently. Um, who wrote it? Do you who do you think it was? Do you have a guess? I feel like it was Glenn. Nope, it wasn't. Oh, oh yeah, this was Chris Carter, which I was pretty impressed okay. by because I'm yeah. not always satisfied with his episodes. Um, but he did a great job with this one. Yeah, this is a good one. And do you remember last time when I thought you were talking about Darkness Falls, but we were talking about Ice, yes. but you had mentioned stage ice. play? This is another one like that. This do is another agree? one like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I really like that about it. Yeah. yeah. With like the limited cast, just a few people and, and yeah. Uh, it's set in the Olympic National Forest in Washington State, by the way. So oh, interesting. Yeah. So they're not in Vancouver? No, but I mean that's not far to go. Is no it? Or how much it costs to take like a crew there? From I always got confused about Washington State and Washington D.C. as a Canadian child. Um, Americans <laughs> do as well, so don't worry okay. about it. All right. Um, oh yeah, uh, do you know anything about the Washington football team? No. Okay, so like the wa the football team of Washington D.C. used to be called the Redskins, as in like Native yeah. Americans, and they only recently changed the name, but they haven't picked a mascot yet. So it's literally just called the Washington Football Team <laughs> for like the last wow. year now. Why are we so ambivalent about this? Like, what? how hard is it to pick something new? That's what I'm saying. Um, apparently, though, like, you know, there's a lot of, like, marketing things to think about. Because it's all about, like, uh, the merchandising and making money, right? Right. Yeah. What is it that we can sell people in 2022? Yeah. 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 Well, do, let's make a prediction. I think they're going to be something like technology related, maybe like the so? Washington cyborgs. <laughs> um, that would be weird. That would be interesting. Yeah. Cause you think if it was like an animal, they would just go for it. Right. Yeah. Just do it. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. I don't know. What animal would they pick? What about, what but do you like there's no animals in DC. It's just, no. it's just like a concrete area. You know what I mean? There's all those monuments yeah. and shit. Mm. Um, 
still want to go there with you. It would be cool. Yeah, it's that would town. be cool. I, I haven't been when I while. saw you that one time and I lost my phone, Yeah, I transferred in Washington. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I did uh, see Dulles. the monument. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. You had a little aerial view. view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was weird that Mulder knew how to tinker with radios. That seems like a, such a specific... Oh, yeah, that is um, random. ...thing for him to do. And it's not the first time they... Well, it is the first time, but do you remember in season eight, he's on an oil rig with Doggett? Yeah. He's fucking with the radio in that one, too. What the... F I guess he's fucking with So I feel like it's a skill they... Yeah, like it's a skill they gave him or something. a weird something. kid. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if anybody's written that into fan fiction before. Um, that's a good question. But he is. Remember, he's friends with the gunman, the lone gunman. No, you're right. They taught him like, how to like tech tinker nerds. with like, <laughs> yeah, two way radios or whatever the hell that is. I don't even. Yeah, know. he found them on the internet in the eighties. Yeah, that's. Do you think? Okay, who contacted who though? Who contacted That's a great you? question. He contacted, he contacted them, or them. did they? Con yeah, yeah, because he probably saw their newsletter or some shit. And yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, apparently, Scully was in a gigantic denim shirt in this episode because I <laughs> thought so much of it as to write a note. They yeah, put they her in some a lot of gigantic shit. or oversized clothes, and she's not even pregnant. Although it's back now. It works for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And I forget at the end, like, every time I watch this episode, like, I kind of remember it every time I watch it, but I always forget that they actually succumb to the web, like, and they have to go get, like, mega hospital Kind of like in, um, yeah, just had a blank. The mushrooms fungus yeah kind of like in that one Help. Yep. i can't think of the title but yeah yeah field trip Feel thank you You're yeah welcome. um yeah it's so weird and then oh and i wrote imagine if these the precautions that they took when they picked them up were taken when like covid broke out yeah yeah and the end, like, what kind of facility are they in at the end? Some kind of weird ET setup. Do you remember <laughs> like, an it's ET so strange. where, like, they're all in white tents and shit? It was, yeah. like, that kind of the weird, uh, who knows. So is it government? What's that? Is it government or is it a hospital? Government. Totally government. Government hospital. It's probably CDC. CDC. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. But, like, this is Scully's, like, sixth week on the job. Something like that. At and, least like, what the do you first think... few months. Yeah. What do you think the long-term disability claims are for these people? <laughs> like, how long are they in the hospital and out of commission after something like this? <laughs> probably a lot. Yeah. Yeah, probably a, a decent... I mean, I don't know. They usually, like... Usually they show them, like, coming back into work, and she's, like, got a little, like, scuff on her face. And it's she's usually back a scuff. To work again. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, it's always a scuff on the cheek. Yeah. <laughs> and she's walking fine. Like, neither of them are having trouble breathing. What, or... what do you... What is... Uh, I mean, was it a spider situation where they, like... I mean, they do this in another episode later on, where it, like, dissolves the insides and they suck it out. Like, what was going on in those nests? They didn't really flush that out too much. That's a that's a great point, right? All these people, they're, like, they're not they exsanguinated, right? They're not, yeah, they're not being eaten from the outside. They're sort of being frozen. Right. Right? right. Chill coma. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That was weird. Um, I would have liked a little more as to how that worked. Yeah. Because they seem to reverse it. Reverse right? it? Like, yeah. the, the doctors knew what they were doing. <laughs> Who no experimental treatments, no vaccines. I mean, what are you vaccinating against? I don't know. I don't know either. 
Um, and then, like, what was the deal with, like, how does it end? Is the forest still full of it? Yeah. It's still out and there. Well, no, I think they, I happen. think they, like, may have tried to contain it. Because remember that guy, remember Mulder was talking to the dude, and he's like, what if you don't contain it? And he's like, that's not an option. And then you just end episode. And it's like, what does that mean? I think that means they're just going to burn the whole fucking forest down. I, I guess. think that's what that means. If that's never, what it takes. Never to be mentioned again in any episode as, moving forward. As is you, typical. Yeah. 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 Do you remember the location stamp? Like, where was the forest supposed to be in in the episode? In in the Wikipedia page, it says the Olympic National Forest in Washington State. Oh, I thought that's where it was filmed. Okay. Give me one sense. second. I'm just seeing. I assume that that's also where it was filmed. But let me look. Oh, no. No, no, no. It was shot on location in Lynn Valley, British Columbia. Oh, okay. Lynn Valley. Lynn Valley. Uh, known as the Seymour Demonstration Forest? Demonstration. Demonstration. Demonstra- okay. I don't know why I said demonstration weird. <laughs> demonstration. I mean, it, the that, on the uh, why is it a demonstration forest? What does that mean? Uh, science? I don't see words like that in my forest names. It's always like state themed usually. Yeah. Fair enough. You should keep that in. Uh, can we move on to Eve, or do you still want to speak speak on? Oh, uh, let's see. What else with Darkness Falls? Um, this one is not heavy shippy, so I think that's why I don't really remember it. Oh, yeah? Like, they're yelling at each other again. I do remember that. And, like, I had just watched Ice the episode before. They're super similar. So I think there's, like, six or seven episodes between the two. But, uh, yeah, they certainly know how to yell at each other. So that's probably all I have to say about that one. Okay, so Glenn and James, Glenn Morgan and James Wong wrote Ice. And oh, Ice. Then, yeah. Chris Carter wrote, he was just copying them, seeing if he could Honestly, do it. a little bit. <laughs> well, wait, which, yeah, because Ice came out first, so yeah. Um, And then Eve was a couple of guys I don't recognize, Kenneth Biller and Chris Brancanto. I don't know if they wrote any other episodes. Okay. But yeah. So I really like Eve. I'm glad you picked it. I love it. Eve. It's the first of the fertility themes of this show. Like there's a lot of mucking around with people's genes to create different types of Yeah, they organisms. mentioned something um <laughs> they mentioned something a rush russia primitively experimenting with eugenics and yeah. i was like oh, does that mean forcing other people to fuck like gathering literally gathering people up and forcing them to fuck that's primitive like eugenics right that's i don't know what else that would mean because that's like, really interesting i'm glad so glad you said that because i would never would have known that i mean maybe wow. this would be in a time where they could like do um in vitro or like something like that but i don't know i don't know when she was talking I mean, about that would be consistent with like the one eve says when they first go to see the first one that they have extra chromosomes yeah like, that's that a little... what happens when incestuous okay. relationships like right start to cr- make offspring right so maybe what you're saying about the primitive techniques is what they were getting at there. I don't know what else that would be. That's so interesting. Just like now, this is a monster of the week. Yeah. Or is it mythology? Because nah. Deep Throat is in this one. He is. He is. Right, and he says because Mulder thinks it's 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 exsanguination, right? He always goes to exsanguination. I feel like. And then deep. What throat- was up with that though? Why did they? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No. Okay. No. What was up with the exsanguination though? I, I. Well, that's Mulder speculating about because the little girls kill their fathers. But why did they do it like that? Like that was so yeah, weird. That's a good point. Yeah, like they could have they poisoned the other Eve, and they were gonna poison Mulder and Scully. So why didn't they poison their fathers? I. 
I didn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, that is weird. How did they? Make I love this episode, but like the motivations weren't totally clear behind why the girls did that, other than yeah, like just why they being killed their fathers. Smart and evil, like oh, okay, well, they didn't kill their fathers. The Eve. Oh, was seven it the big did? Eve? The Eve I don't seven. Know. I I forget which one. It was Eve eight that we didn't. See. Or no, Eve eight was at the end, right? Eve eight is at the end. Yeah. Okay, right. So okay. Um. But Deep Throat says at the beginning, so when he comes to Mulder, he says that it's part of a super soldier program. And we right, know and it was like gone later wrong. episodes. We know that the super soldier program is a part of the larger Okay, line. yeah, you could say this is like this could be considered mythology. I didn't even think about that. That's a really good point. That's why it's such a good episode. It'd be my favorite myth arc if if that's what you want to put it down to. I mean, is Chris Carter that um, smart to pull it all together? (laughs) Can he weave something from season one all the way through to season eight? I would probably not. I'm giving him too much credit. Yes, Um, (laughs) but I would love a follow up (laughs) episode to this. It's prime for that. Yeah, like what happened to them? Because Scully's storylines ultimately deal with her genetics being fucked with like she has two children emily in season five dies from her genetic maladies and we all know that william is this fucked up specimen i so, hate like, this the emily plot right line so much that i have yeah. blocked that out of my memory and you just brought it up to the surface after all this yeah. time yeah i, I hate think, it i think it's only because i'm thinking about watching it around christmas it's a it is, yeah, you're right. It's a, it's a really episode. uplifting episode, you know? So the way they handled the children in this was like, I don't know. I don't know if it's just because it was the 90s, but like, they just took that first girl, Tina, and <laughs> she went through all that stuff. And then they just like threw her in a room by herself at like social services or whatever it just seemed a yeah. little un- like not realistic with how they handled the children's aspect of it and then they ended up in an adult institution at the end like no no right no. but is that how dangerous they are then i mean sure they're dangerous but i don't know like that wouldn't surely no surely that wouldn't happen in real life yeah it, it was very strange but I guess they're psychopaths, right? They murder yeah. if if they don't murder murder their fathers, they're at least like bearing witness With to it. With also some kind of like apparently like telepathy between the two of them. Yeah. Because they didn't seem surprised that no. the other one existed. We just knew. We just knew. Yeah. Um, Do you know why they kill the Eve that kidnapped them? That's a very good question <laughs> that I didn't even think about. Like, I feel yeah. like they wanted to fuck off on their own and probably just cause as like little girls. And oh do yeah, what get jobs? They could <laughs> they probably. Could... Oh man, they. Oh god, they, there would be a really great dark show about them just killing like pedophiles and shit like Ooh. that on the side. Then, but then they're gonna get in the, caught up in the system. Right, they'll go to. That's what I was be. saying. They 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 are gonna be in the system. They're not going to an adult institution. At the most, they probably end up in a juvenile institution somewhere. Yeah, but no, they're actually in. Now this is a like a mental hospital that they go to. It's like right? some like weird the jail, is. like. A weird jail mental hospital. Like, the depiction of psychiatric institutions in this isn't great. No. But, like, why these people are in, like, a prison cell with cement beds. And, like, no light. And then they throw the little girls in there, No light in the little cell. Like, what? What is this? So this must be some shadow institution, then. Right? It's it's part of the government. Black ops off the books. Shit. Off the books? Yeah, tell tell anybody about. I don't know. Um, like, how does Deep Throat know about this whole thing? He apparently because he just knows everything. I would assume. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah, I mean, I liked it. I liked the like they're um kind of like parents. 
to the girls like they're like Scully's taking them to the bathroom and they they're getting coke and like there's just this whole like watching them act that way that I remember liking as a kid. Yeah, same. Yeah. Yeah. Um cuz it was like kind of like them playing house, right? Yeah. <laughs> Even though they tried to kill them. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, why did they dress those little girls in the same red blouses or red blazers and tar- like I didn't know what was going on with that. Uh, like was that Eve Seven putting like dressing them up the same? Was that the was that when they changed? Maybe it was. Maybe you're right. She probably did. Um Also, what do you think about the mother of was it Tina or was it the other one? I think it was the other one. The one who she's like, she just was like, she's not my daughter anymore. Yeah, not memorable. What were your thoughts? Oh, I was like, do you, I don't know, because like she, she was her mother before. I mean, I understand like she's not technically, but she still carried her and everything, but she was still able to just like dismiss her so yeah. quickly at the end yeah, like, she like she's not my eight daughter. year relationship with this with this you're kid. really not gonna see her ever again <laughs> really that easily it's that easy um yeah they don't sometimes they don't show trauma well i feel like no god no but that's not what this show's about no this it's show's not. about aliens <laughs> kind of kind of like are these girls aliens or are they just products of incest i think this is now the question that we need to ask maybe um, I wrote down, did the young Eves evolve? Like, are they the exact same as, as, as the older Eves? Or ha- are these different, like, specimens? Since they seem yeah. to be outsmarting the older Eves. Like, shouldn't the older Eves have some sort of psychic connection mm. to them? Or like, are the girls the first psychic tel- telepathic? Right, because they're, because they're each, uh, you know, this new type. Yeah. Yeah. But all of them are the cast-offs, aren't they? Like, these are the experiments that didn't work. All right. So are we then supposed to read into it that this is the Russians? This is a Russian plot, and the Russians are awful. And uh, That always works with, with American audiences. It's just shit on Russia. Oh, yeah. I wrote down older Eve with the Eve seven she was stupid to trust those younger eves like she just like took them and just like was hanging out in a hotel room and it's like shouldn't she know better that they're gonna although your point to say why did they do that yeah like what was the plan i think they literally did want to run off together and just i don't know i they probably didn't have a plan because like they're still kids right so like you did you ever, as a kid, have that um, impulse to like just gonna run away from home? You had no, oh, yeah. no, pl- no, no planning or anything like that. So yeah. it was probably that that combined with. But Eve Seven's like an adult. No, I know. Like, what was Eve Seven's plan? What was she was gonna like? Probably live with them, keep them safe, or keep them everyone s- live everyone happily else ever safe. After. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, she probably. Yeah, there, you're right. There's a whole series. There's a whole series there with There's all these series. Eves. Yeah, it's yeah. a great, great show. Um, yeah, would have loved a follow up episode. Yeah. Um, what the trivia fact is that the band Eve Six is named after. I was just thinking about that. Yeah. Were you? Yeah. See, maybe we're tel- telepathic. Maybe I just felt like it's always worth a mention. Not yeah. that. I don't know. They they've had Could like, you name an Eve Six song? Uh uh I'm trying to think I know their first one, but I can't remember the title. Sorry, I'm like playing it in my head. Can you hear it? I don't even I don't hear anything when I think of Eve Six. I'll Google it. I don't remember what it's called. I know the song. I just can't type. Inside Out. You probably know this song. Eve 6, Inside Out. 
<laughs> the still on YouTube is just this really angry looking dude. I saw him, yeah. Oh, I have an ad. Two ads. Oh my gosh. Yeah, two ads. Two ads every like two minutes. It's not worth it for Eve 6. No, it's not worth it. Listen to it later. Listen to it later. Here we go. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. You remember yeah, this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh, I thought that <laughs> you mentioned, like, Mulder and Scully taking the girls. Um, I thought that it was so blasé of the cops slash Children's Protective Services to just let, granted they're FBI agents, but to just let them take the kids. Like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, there's no paperwork. Like, they literally said, okay, whatever. Like, <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes no sense. Mm-mm. Um. Yeah, I've gone over all my written notes on that one. Yeah, no, I think that's a great episode. And given that we could say it either stands on its own or it could be a conspiracy episode, mm-hmm. I think that makes it. It puts it in a in a category of very few episodes. Mm-hmm. Um, like if I was trying to introduce somebody to X Files, this is one that I would recommend. To oh them. yeah, totally. Yeah, because there's a bunch of different themes in here that carry through, and like good Mulder and Scully interaction. All of the actors have pretty good performances. The girls are a little stilted. But kids. They're also being told to play weird, creepy characters. Well, because it's right? like you gotta find twins too, so it's like yeah, yeah, f- yeah. It is what it is. They do fine. Yeah. yeah. I wonder what and they're the, doing now. Um actually you can find older pictures of them grown up. Yeah. Yeah, I googled it while I was watching cuz I'm like, I wonder what they look like now and they look the same but older. Did yeah. they keep acting? I don't think so. No. It didn't seem like it. I hope they got paid. I'm sure their parents like, I hope got that paid. paid for a year of intra- of university or something. Oh, hell no. They may have made I'm sure they made like minimum or whatever. I don't know what the l- rules are in paying child actors. Mm. Like minimum. I have no idea. Yeah, that was never something on my bucket list when I was a kid. Was to really? Be a child actor. I always kind of wanted to, that. and I don't really? know why. Because I was a terribly ch- shy child. Mm. I would have been terrified to do something like that. But it, yeah, it was always something I was kind of jealous of when I see other kids acting. Yeah. What kind of does. things would you have wanted to act in? Oh, like like the little rascals. <laughs> That's so cute. Yeah. Like really wholesome like yeah. adventure t- adventure stories. Right. Or like <laughs> like Nickelodeon shows with kids in them or whatever. Like the Mickey Mouse Club, shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's so cute. Yeah, I never had that. Um <sighs> I always thought about like meeting celebrities, but I never thought about being the celebrity. Probably says something about my ego, especially you as think? a child. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. It's probably it's like well, I was also like an only child, so I was like, mm. yeah, yeah. The only child psyche is so interesting. Mm. Like I'm married to one too. Mm. You guys are a breed of your own. Yeah, but like sturdy as a rock. Sometimes. I think we talked about this before. Like, you guys just know you have to be good in yourselves. Yeah. And it's something that I admire. <sighs> All right. Well, I think we've been going. I got 53 for a bit. minutes. Yeah. yeah. Let me know when you want to stop. Yeah. I mean, let's. You need to call it. We made this. Okay. Uh, we made this. <laughs>